What is up, YouTube? Bearded Jester here, uh, or Bearded Flips, whichever one you want to go with. So we are going to start up another series. I think we're going to do this on Tuesdays, and it's going to be a list with me series. Um, so basically what we're going to do is list three items, kind of show you all my process, exactly what I do through the process. I'm not going to do the photos of it. I already took the photos, but I will show you what I do on the computer and kind of my process and uh, see how you all kind of like this content from here. So what we're going to do is kind of make me a little bit smaller here, kind of jump into the scene. So um, I keep a eBay photos folder here and then I normally have so I have two screens. I have a screen to the right. You're not really going to be able to see that. I try to. So whenever I have this, I make the icons as large as I can, um, because normally whenever I'm looking at the pictures, I'm getting the information off of these photos on the right screen. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this back over here. And then we got to pull up our eBay account. I keep bookmarks. I feel like it's easier to kind of navigate and go from there. So the first thing we have is Eddie Bauer, um, Eddie Bauer Trevex shorts. So what I do, I don't, I don't really sell uh, from my store, like copy my listing from my store unless I know I have the item. Um, but like I will just type in Eddie. Uh, Bauer uh, Trevex uh, shorts size 30 and then I kind of just take a look here so these are some of the ones so you could tell uh, they're used at 48 you could check mark that and then you can go to sold if you want you don't have to do this process if you don't really know the price of what you want to sell something for then you could go through this process but there's 48 uh listed as used 15 sold not a very good sell through rate um i don't know why they put geometrics in this title so i'm going to sell one i, I click right here so i'll copy this one click sell sell one like this And then basically I just start the next process. So um, I start with dragging my photos over. So I'll go over um, to kind of give you all an example. So I'll, I'll, I'll click shift and I'll drag and drop. And then I'll click all the pictures that need to come over. And then I drag them. You have to drag from the first one, drag it over, and then it auto puts it in here. So only time I'm really going to show that um what it looks like from there and then i'll open up the picture of like the information i need so i have a bigger picture and then i don't think you're actually allowed to do all capital letters so i'll just end up deleting this dude's title and then i'll just do eddie uh bauer shorts uh shorts men's and then i'll put the size 30 I'll do the color. I believe these were dark gray or black. I'm going to go dark gray. So I'm going to just do gray. Uh, then I'll do Trevex. Um, don't know if these actually had like another tag in there. They felt like almost like nylon. So I'm not going to put like any other thing. So I might just put like... Uh, descripting works here like hiking um fishing outdoor uh chino probably put chino um gray trevex gray chino trevex hiking uh fishing outdoor um those are some good descriptors. I didn't fill it all up, but that's good enough for me. Um, and then I'll, I'll put in here what I can. And then for the custom skew, I have that in my picture. And then I will do 1765, uh, I believe, is what I got here. Then I kind of just come through and make sure all of this stuff is correct. So the brand's Eddie Bauer. These are Chino, regular, uh, size 30. Um, it looks like the measured size 31. I will leave the size as 30 because that's what's on the tag. 
and then I'll put the waist at 30. I do men, gray, uh, theme. I don't know that this is all necessarily that important, um, but I do come through and I, I, I know like some of the ones that I want to put in here normally. Um, so I normally just type them in and then kind of have them already pre-filled. It's not really super important for that, but it's kind of whatever. Um, I do believe these are nylon. You see how they, uh, I don't know if it'll auto put it back in there. Yeah, so they typed in nylon spandex. So I will type in nylon. You see how they typed in nylon spandex? That's not like a drop down. I wouldn't do that. Um, you got to be careful copying people's uh, listings because sometimes they just do weird stuff. Um, so occasion, I like to do casual, formal. You could even do these for work if you wanted. Uh, waist, this is where I would change the waist 31. Uh, they measured 31, so that's why I would put that there. I leave stuff blank, like character. There's no characters in here that you really need, so you don't really need that. He typed in this solid. He didn't do the solid right here, so I would change that. Um, nylon blend fabric type. Um, I don't know what this is. This is more like a microfiber. Um, these... So features of these would be definitely stretch. Um, I don't think these were elastic waist. They did feel kind of lightweight, so I'd put lightweight in there. They do have pockets. Um, just some descriptive words. You don't have to really get too crazy with that kind of stuff, but I do. I like to fill out as many descriptions as I can personally. I don't. I, I don't mind taking like three to five minutes to do a listing um, because I'm only doing 20 to 30 listings a day. And then fabric, wash, dark, regular fit. I think these were done in Bangladesh. So just type in Bangladesh. Flat front, vintage, no. Um, inseam, I think, was 11. So we will switch that to 11. Closure was button. I do button zip. I do both. Um... Or this one's only allowing one. Sometimes it'll allow you to do two. Sometimes it won't. It, I think it just depends on the listing you copy. Um, accents, logo. I don't think this one really has a logo. Um, so I really won't put that. Sometimes I'll do button zipper. And then for season. So these, I don't think you'll really use these in the winter. So these are slash pockets. Uh, rise is, I'd say, 10 to 12. Looks like it's 11. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the main stuff. I, I'll normally delete this stuff out. We don't really need all that. Um, it's machine washable. Pretty, pretty easy stuff there. So normally what I do is good use condition, no major flaws. And I can't type, so I normally have some messed up. Then what I do is I copy this from my next listing because I'm trying to pick up items that don't have flaws. If it does have flaws, then I don't copy and paste. I have two templates here. I have clothes and miscellaneous. Clothes has size, miscellaneous doesn't. Um, pretty much the same stuff. So I'll just for sale shorts. Uh, size 30. Measured 31. Good, none. Simple stuff. This sometimes I don't like. I mean, you could you could take a look and see that these are the ones that sold here. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to list these for $19 like that other dude. And then it'll go on coupon. It'll probably go down to $15. i will probably accept an offer for $10. Um, is what I see happening. Or they might just sell for $19. Well, it'll automatically go on coupon. All my stuff, as soon as it gets listed, goes on coupon. Um, I allow offers all the time. Um... I don't schedule the listing. I have preset shipping policies. So shipping, uh, this is a small item because it's uh, 12 ounces. And then I just do 12 tab. And then I do 12, 9, 1. Pretty much for everything. Um, for package dimensions. I, I do 12, 9, 1 because whenever I used to have uh, different shipping methods here, you had to do 12, 9, 1 in order to do the flat rate envelope. And that's the dimensions for the flat rate. So that's why I did that. And then all of my stuff is already set here. Promoted listings. Um, sell even more. I don't really worry about this stuff. Because whenever I do this, it doesn't allow me to do the um, dynamic. I do the dynamic afterwards. So I'll click list. 
and then that lists this item that took me I don't know let's see here how long we've we been talking uh, we've been talking like 10 minutes so I'm clearly not going as fast as possible with this I'll click promote here and then I do dynamic and I have it capped at 10% um, they are recommending I do it 11.7% there's just no way I'm doing that at that um, so then that items done we don't have to worry about that we get to go on to the next item and then I normally have to sometimes I'll have to re highlight these and then just click delete to delete it out of my stuff and then we're gonna move on to the next item which is a NASA t-shirt so for this I would do NASA uh, t-shirt 3XL um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna put just to get something here and this one I'm not really gonna price check I'm just gonna find a, a NASA t-shirt and then I'm gonna just copy this listing then from there we have to copy and paste the photos which I drag and drop in here I'm gonna delete this so we are gonna do NASA um, then we do t-shirt t-shirt men's uh, the size is 3xl don't do something crazy just do 3xl um, you could type out extra large if you want and then you're gonna do the color black um, big logo American flag space um, space uh, I don't know what other good descriptor words for this so got American flag space outer space maybe spaceship mm, no we won't do spaceship what do we want to do for some descriptor words here we could do um, kind of it's like an oversized um shirt short sleeve so we would actually put short sleeve in there so black uh, short sleeve we could do crew neck if we wanted to but we'll put that in the descriptions but that pretty much filled out everything that i needed um so this one we'll do theme as flag features oversized logo we will put a custom SKU 1766 um we'll just do nasa t-shirt i'd say this is kind of like a big and tall uh 3x well i don't think it's 3xlt yeah we're gonna do regular we'll do 3x it, it normally big and tall 3xlt it just depends on the brand uh we'll do black men's uh, flag space those are all good regular fit I would say relaxed on this one character there's a character on it but who knows what that character is called we'll do short sleeve on the link pattern solid um, character family don't really need to worry about that the uh, country region I can't really read what it says um, it's kind of the it's kind of blurred out on the tag so I'm not really gonna worry too much about that um, features so this is oversized I don't know what pre shrunk is I guess it could be worn all seasons um, not really gonna worry about too much for that and then we got the neckline this is a crew neck material cotton um, accents logo vintage no this is definitely knit um, product line no handmade no personalized no season you could do this for pretty much any season you could wear it during the winter right just inside if you want um, model don't worry about that your manufacturer don't worry about that a garment care is definitely machine washable I don't worry about none of this other stuff I'll delete that out of here uh, good use condition I would say that there's a small stain on back um, some fabric fray I did f shave it a little bit um, let me make sure that I try to put the uh, the stains and stuff at the first up here um, before everything else so they could kind of see and there's like this small little tiny dot 
Um, I, I put everything on my listings, so pretty easy stuff. And then, like I said, we got close, we'll insert, we'll do shirt. I press down, down, it takes me straight to here. I do 3XL, do down, down. And then if I need to, I'll copy this and then I'll, I'll take out this, put it in there, come down. This is probably like a $15 shirt, maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Uh, this is a 12 ounce item. So I do 12 tab, 12, nine, one. And then all of this stuff should stay the same. I click list, boom, that's done. Delete the photos off the other one while this is loading. Item specifics, the size didn't stick, that's fine because I messed up earlier. We click list, boom, bada bing, bada boom. That is done. Click done. You could promote after or you could promote um, at the end by clicking this. So what I'll do is I'll normally do all my listings, which my wife has kind of been listing today. So then we'll click promote listings here and then we'll click on all of them to highlight all of them and then we'll click promote. And then we do our dynamic ad rate and then click promote. Um, sometimes if I feel like it's an item that doesn't need to be promoted at the 10%, if it's like a high sell through rate, like um, rock revival jeans, like I put those at like three or 4% just to have some type of promotion on them, but it didn't really need it. So either or that one's done. So we're going to get into our next, uh, next one, which is BKE jeans uh jeans it doesn't matter if it's capital we're gonna do uh seth straight leg these are 42 r so we'll copy these right here and then we click sell now then i copy while that's loading i have all my pictures copied and then boom bk bke i'm gonna put seth So I don't really know exactly what's the proper way to do this. This is just in my opinion. I do BKE jeans, men's, uh, 42R, blue, Seth, oops, blue Seth, uh, BKE jeans, men's, 42R, blue, Seth, straight leg. Um, you could do dark wash. And then you could put measures in there if you want. Um, really, it's kind of up to you on, on what you want to do there. Um, it looks like these measured 44 by 30. Um, so you could do 44 by 30 here if you want. Um, you could put in some descriptor words as well for this. You could do like preppy, uh, classic, um, you could do uh, Norma core if you want some type of descriptor word there. If you can't fit in stuff, I'd normally would take out like dark wash because I mean, that's not the most needed stuff. So you could do like Norma core or something like that. Some type of descriptor word. Um, so then I'll put the custom label. These are 1767s. Kind of go down here. So these are men's clothing, BKE, uh, jeans, regular 42. So there's no 42R in here, right? I'm not going to put 42R in there because I want them to be able to sign. That's just 42 regular is all that means. Men's, blue, straight, inseam, 30. And then through here, regular fit. Um, might be relaxed. The R might be 42R, I think is relaxed. Because these are really kind of a relaxed fit style, not too thick. Um, so then regular, so these are 42s, um, straight, relaxed, 44 in the waist, uh, 90s preppy. Um, some of this stuff could be, so these could definitely be city jeans. These could also be... Um, this stuff isn't that important, but I do put it in there just to give it some more words to search by. Um, I wouldn't spend so much time like going through here and trying to find like, oh my goodness, this is a school or whatever the case may be, you know. 
Um, you don't have to put too much time into that if you don't want to. Uh, normally, I, I do like classic. I do outdoor. I do sports. I do like stuff like that. I can just type in and find really fast. So it's not necessarily that important to do that there. Um, so these were made in China. The model Seth. Uh, that's the theme. China. They are. I guess they're kind of stretchy. They do have spandex in them. Um, so you could leave stretch as one of the features. Um, you could do comfort. You could do pockets. Stuff like that. Uh, material is cotton. So this one has cotton, spandex. I'm surprised that has to be typed in like that. Normally it's one of the ones that's available already. Um, polyester. And then boom, you got your stuff there. So this is kind of a dark wash, buckle BKE, accent, buckle logo zipper. Uh, that's fine. Closure, button zip. That's fine. Vintage, rise is uh, more than 12. So that's good. Definitely solid pattern. Handmade, no, no. Uh, this could be all seasons. That's fine. Five pocket design. Um, you could tell if it's five pocket design by um, you got one and then this small little one right here. Two, three, and then two in the back means it's five pocket design. And then here pre-owned. Um, so we could do good use condition. Uh, some stitching coming undone. Uh, stitching issues. I can't type. That's fine. Let's see pics. And then right here we'll do clothes insert. We'll do jeans. And then we'll go down to size. We'll do 42R measured uh, 44, 30. Good. Few stitching areas coming undone. So these I'm probably going to list for 30. Uh, these are definitely going to be shipping heavy. It looks like these weighed 111, so I'm going to do 2, 12, 9, 1. And then all of this stuff similar. I do want to rearrange my pictures a little bit because I need to put the stitching issues at the front right there and then rearrange that and then put that down there and then we're good. Yep. So that's just some, kind of my listing process. You could tell I'm not like going super fast right there. I mean, normally if I'm focused and I'm not trying to explain stuff, it'll go a lot faster. I'd say I do anywhere between two to six minutes of listing. It just varies. Uh, we did approximately three listings right there. It took us 23 minutes. So 20 minutes for three listings. That's at least nine listings an hour, um, I would say. Um, that's not going fast that's not uh that's just taking our time right i mean it's not hard it's just getting used to what you're typing in using macros on your keyboard you tell whenever i get down to certain areas i'm tabbing 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 i'm using my arrow keys i'm typing out stuff so the more you do the listing process the easier it's going to get and we will uh go through this a little bit more too we're going to do this probably every tuesday wednesday ish um just three listings i'll try to list different items to kind of show y'all what i'm doing um in the process and then um yeah so if y'all have any questions if you have any uh improvements or anything that y'all see that i'm doing wrong or any advice i definitely am open to advice i'm not perfect at this i'm been doing clothing probably six to ten months now so clothing is still fairly new to me so um definitely open to advice i'm really just doing this to show you all my process how i do things um it doesn't mean it's the best way to do it 
right? This is just my process, how I do it. And I'm here to share that with y'all. So appreciate y'all tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one.